Josh Strong with CrossFit Bro Bridge. We're going to go over some toes to bar and efficiency tips. All right. So, talking about toes to bar, as far as the standards, first of all, with toes to bar, your both feet have to break the plane on the way down, okay, after they get down. So, behind the, the crossbar or behind the pull up bar, the feet have to come back. So, this is an example of a no rep. Alright, the other standard for toes to bar is that both feet, part of any part of the foot, has to touch the bar between the hands. So, this would be a no rep. Or, touching feet at different times would be a no rep. Alright, as far as efficiency, one of the things that a lot of people do that works for toes to bar but it's really inefficient, is that they push way back off the bar, all right? Using way too much lats, way too much abs, all right? So it kind of looks like this. All right, what we're trying to do is avoid all that excessive movement. So what we're looking for is to harness the power of the hips to complete the toes to bar, as well as a little kick at the top, okay? We're talking about consecutive kipping toes to bar. So, what we want to focus on is a vertical line of action, okay? The further out you swing, the more energy you're using. So, this toes to bar takes a lot more energy than straight up. So, that's what we're focusing on is using some momentum from the legs, driving the knees up, and then ending with a kick, okay? You'll notice that I'm not pushing myself away from the bar. More focused on driving the knees up and down, okay? So, what you wanna do is think about twisting, think about pulling up with the hip flex. It's almost like, almost like a skip, okay? When you come down, you're going to bring your foot back so you get your rest. And what I like to do is straighten the leg, drive the knee up, and as the knee comes up, think knees to elbows, as the knee comes up at the very top, you're going to kick your feet and tap the ball. All right? It takes a few to get in rhythm, but once you get in rhythm, they're pretty much effortless, okay? Pull it from the hip, driving the knee up, at the very top, kicking. Another important thing is your eye position. If you're looking up at the bar, which a lot of people do, your brain wants to keep your body in a neutral position. So when your chin's forward, your body's under you, and that's what you're used to. But whenever you look up, you have the tendency to break open, not stay tight, and that's when you have a tendency to push on the bar, okay? You're using muscles that you don't need to use. And the body is trying to align itself forward under the bar, makes it harder to get your feet back behind the bar. So look forward, okay? It takes a little bit of practice, but if you kick up at the right time, your feet are still gonna touch the bar. When you see your knees come up in your peripheral vision, that's when you're going to kick the feet. Okay, so stay looking forward. And think vertical line of action.